A boy asked his father, Dad, how big is God? The father replied, It depends on you. Curious, the son asked, Why? Looking at the sky, the father saw an airplane and asked his son, How big do you think that airplane is? The child replied, Tiny. It looks so small. I can barely see it. Then the father took him to the airport and standing next to the airplane asked, And how big is this airplane? The boy answered very surprised, Dad, it's huge. Wow, it's so big. Then the father said, That's how God relates to you. His size will depend on how far you are from Him, and accordingly, that will influence your perception of Him, your conception of Him, and your experience interacting with Him. Moral of the story. The closer you are to God, the greater He will be in your life. And your view of Him will be of a great, amazing, loving, and mighty God, which He is. If now you see God as less than that, perhaps you need to take a closer look at Him. And the closer you live to God, the smaller everything else seems. Six short stories with deep meanings that will make you think. Once, all the villagers decided to pray for rain. On the day of prayer, everyone gathered, but only one boy brought an umbrella. That is faith. When you toss children into the air, they laugh because they know you will catch them. That is trust. Every night we go to bed without any assurance of being alive the next morning. Yet we still set the alarm to wake up. That is hope. We plan big things for tomorrow in spite of having no knowledge about the future. That is confidence. We see the world suffering, yet we still get married and have children. That is love. The shirt of an old man read, I am not eighty years old. I am sixteen with sixty-four years of experience. That is attitude. If you aren't following my account, you might never see us again. But if you are subscribed, congratulations. You are growing intellectually every day. Charlie Chaplin lived eighty-eight years and left us with four statements. First, nothing is permanent in this world. Not even our problems. Second, I love walking in the rain because no one can see my tears. Third, the most wasted day in life is the day we do not laugh. Fourth, the six best doctors in the world are sun, rest, exercise, diet, self-respect, and friends. Charlie Chaplin lived 88 years and left us with four statements. First, nothing is permanent in this world, not even our problems. Second, I love walking in the rain because no one can see my tears. Third, the most wasted day in life is the day we do not laugh. Fourth, the six best doctors in the world are sun, rest, exercise, diet, self-respect, and friends. Marry a girl who does these five things. First, a girl who isn't shy about showing others how much she truly loves you. Second, a girl who is far away but has never been unfaithful to you. Third, a girl who sees you as a husband, not just a boyfriend. Fourth, a girl who treats you like a king. And fifth, a girl who always asks for your permission before doing anything because she respects you and considers your decisions. If you want more quality and useful content, subscribe to my account. Be cautious around such people. When you see someone who is incredibly kind, always very calm, and often quiet in crowded settings, be wary and restrain yourself. In reality, this person is mentally very strong and notices everything. These individuals keep everything inside, preferring not to show their emotions and to remain calm, though it often causes them suffering. But on the day their patience breaks, a true explosion will occur, and whoever provoked their anger will face a devastating blow. These people know the consequences and highly value peace. That's why they cherish it so much. That's why it's important to respect these people and not to mistake their silence for weakness. Behind every calm smile lies immense strength. You can always rely on them, and there's much to learn from them. That's why it's better to stick with them. Like if you agree, and comment below. Calmness is strength. If you aren't following my account, you might never see us again. But if you are subscribed, congratulations. You are growing intellectually every day.